The Arizona Biosciences Award, uh, which is going to be given this year to Monica Kraft, is extraordinarily deserved. She's incredibly warm and outgoing, an incredible scientist, but I think what really distinguishes her from others is her level of involvement in her science. I can't imagine anybody else who I would give it to. I came to the university for two main reasons. One is to lead the Department of Medicine, and a second to work with fantastic researchers in the Asthma and Airway Disease Research Center. I think we all know somebody with asthma, and many times it's, it's a mild situation. I take care of patients who have much more moderate to severe disease, and it really impacts their quality of life. I really enjoy helping patients really live lives to the fullest. One of my goals is to really advance therapeutics for these patients, but then also in a, in a precision-oriented way. She has not only done fabulous work in the area of basic sciences and basic mechanisms of disease in asthma, but she has also derived from that work potentially new therapies that I am quite convinced could be one day in the market and in improve the lives of millions of people who are affected by this terrible disease that makes it difficult for people to breathe. I think the future is very bright. I think um, certainly in my world of studying asthma and caring for patients with asthma, the immunology of the disease has exploded in the sense we have a much better understanding of what causes it, what causes asthma attacks, what affects patient symptoms, and there have been a number of new therapies and several others under development right now that really will allow patients to have an improved quality of life, hopefully not going to the hospital, not needing to go to urgent care or the emergency department. And those are big events in patients' lives. And so the fact that I can be involved in developing these therapeutics, working with patients to actually provide them and help them reach their potential is incredibly exciting and I feel honored to be in the field.